Asante sana bwana Deputy President uh, Mr. Rigiji. Tafadhali tuketi chini. Asante. <clears throat> um, mawaziri mulio hapa pamoja na uongozi wa Central Bank, Chairman, Governor, Deputy Governor, uongozi wa jeshi letu la polisi, bwana IG and your deputies, uh, Governor wetu wa Kajiado na viongozi wa Kajiado na officers wote mliokuja hapa na wananchi wa Mjambo. <clears throat> Kwanza mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni wapongeze jeshi la polisi na vile vile Central Bank of Kenya. Kwa sababu ya kolabo mumefanya ndio hii facility imepatikana. Nasema pongeze sana. Um, in my other life, uh, when I was an assistant minister at the office of the president a while ago, uh, the decision, we made the decision then to have uh, these 100 acres uh, here. I am a very proud person today that the small decision we made at the office of the president almost 20 years ago. Today, we have a wonderful facility as the Police Leadership Academy. Uh, when I was asked by the governor, I didn't know that this is the same 100 acres that we had uh, recommended. That time, when we recommended 100 acres, it looked like it was unreasonable. But as things are now, already 18 acres has been taken up by this academy. And it looks like with the expansion of the police force, the whole 100 acres will be in use shortly. So uh, let me commend the leadership of the uh, police service and the leadership of Central Bank. Pongezi sana. This is the kind of relationship we want to build around government. That all institutions must be able to speak with one another, with one another and we must be able to synergize so that we avoid the silo mentality in government. When governor spoke, he said, this is very unlikely. But now we want this not to be the exception, we want this to be the norm. That government institutions can leverage on the resources that we have. So that as is the case in this particular um, uh, 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 case, the central bank has uh, used land for the police in industrial area to build housing for uh, officers serving in Central Bank, and in return, they have come to build this leadership uh, facility for the police. That is the kind of collaboration. That is the kind of synergy that must be the hallmark of government, that we can work together for the benefit, not of any one person or any one institution, for the greater good of the people of Kenya. So again, I think here we have an opportunity in government to avoid unnecessary siloing in government. In fact, we have instances where government institutions take each other to court because of the failure to recognize and understand that we are one government we are serving one people, and we must be able to build the network, the understanding for us to share the resources we have and for us to use the resources we have for the greater good of the people of Kenya, not any one institution on its own. So, wale wengine na mimi ni najua, nilikuwa nyandaru wa juzi. Kona moja ya serikali imepeleka kona ingine ya serikali kotini. Na wamekwamisha project karibu miaka kumi. 
wale wote katika serikali yetu ya Kenya ambao wamepelekana kotini wajifunze kutokana na hii collaboration tumeona kati ya Central Bank na jeshi yetu ya polisi ya kwamba tunaweza kushirikiana na tunaweza kuongea pamoja tuweze kutumia ile resources tuko nayo kwa manufaa ya the different institutions that we serve but also for the greater good of the government of Kenya secondly i also uh, want to commend our police force this leadership institute is a very important institution as we look into a professional police service it is our intention and the administration that runs the government of kenya today it is our intention to professionalize our security sector more specifically our police and our prison officers it is our intention and we are going to work with you to make sure that men and women who serve in our police uh, service are proud of being the men and women who look after our children who look after our property and who provide that service that secures our country and for that to be the case we must deploy sufficient resources we must train our men and women properly the recruitment the training the promotion and the entire terms of service must reflect the critical service that our policemen and women provide for our country and as deputy president has said this morning i have appointed a task force to look into the reforms that are necessary for us to remove the gaps that currently exist in our police service to think broadly and deeply into what does the government of Kenya need to do to make sure that the recruitment the training the promotion terms of service and all conditions are the best conditions possible for our men and women uh, in the police force and in our prisons to serve their country and i want to assure you that uh, i am committed at a personal level and the kenya government at the corporate level to make sure that we have a professional police service i have given my assurance to the commanders across the country that they have my support they have the support of the government of kenya to make sure that they deliver on their mandate and as has been said we are a country governed by the rule of law we are a constitutional democracy and we want to build institutions whether it is the judiciary whether it is independent institutions like our police service whether it is uh, parliament we want to build all these institutions to secure the rule of law and to secure our democracy so that the whims of an individual cannot overrun the institutional capacity of all the institutions we build as a country that is the way into the future i have been very clear to all our men in uniform i have had a chat with our military i have had a chat with the commanders of the police and i have been very clear to these men and women that they have a cardinal duty to secure the lives the property and the nation of kenya to make sure that we can rally our development 
we can rally our progress in a secure environment. Everything else, whether we are uh, running development issues or we are running our politics, it will be very difficult if we do not have a secure environment. And therefore, collectively, it is our duty as a nation, Kenyans in their individual capacity have a role to play. The bigger role is in the shoulders of our security men and women. And we will support you. We will go out of our way to make sure that we make it easy for you to deliver on your mandate. And I have said this, that because we are a country of the rule of law, because we are a constitutional democracy, you must be grounded on the understanding of what the law says and what the Constitution says. And that is why this leadership institute is very important. That is why the curriculum through which our security men and women go through is very important. So that you can be grounded in the understanding on what you have to do, what is your mandate, what is your constitutional responsibility, what is your